Hurricane Alicia had winds of 42 meters per second and a minimum pressure of 962 millibars when it moved on shore at Galveston. Note the ring of bright ground clutter echoes surrounding the radar in the upper center of the screen. Alicia had a beautiful echo structure, a well-formed eye, a principal rain band east of the eye, and several outer rain bands. Alicia moved north along a track with several oscillations. Notice how the maximum in the eye wall shifts as the hurricane goes through these oscillations. At the beginning, the maximum is in the south, and later it rotates around until the maximum reflectivity is in the north. We also tracked reflectivity peaks in Alicia. They moved around the eye at about 25 meters per second. Cells in the outer bands intensified in landfall, as we saw in David and Frederick. Mike Black studied the variation in rainfall rates for Alicia. He found that the maximum rainfall rates occurred left of the storm track in the front quadrant. This agrees well with the results for Frederick. There's some very interesting interaction among rain bands in the southern part of the storm. Three small reflectivity maxima merge from two spiral bands over the land into one band over the ocean. This band then moves around the eye until it's oriented north-south, east of the eye. Another band forms off the coast, perpendicular to the first. By 250 GMT, these two bands have merged. Powell's composite wind analysis showed a zone of convergence in the 10 meter winds just off the coast and parallel to it. The convergence zone's orientation is consistent with the orientation of the southwestern rain bands. However, it is not clear whether the change in the rain band's orientation is the result of or the cause of the convergence.